Hey YouTube, welcome to another edition of New Year Black Me. So I'm coming back to you in regards to um, the Jesse uh, Smollett video. Um, I posted a video that said that he was attacked and um, I was seeing a lot of uh, videos out there saying it was possibly a hoax. I'm not going to say it's a hoax because um, unless there's video filling in the gaps of what really happened so the truth can come out or he, you know, saying it was a story or something of that, then I'll say it was a hoax. But I cannot say it's a hoax because if I'm not there, I can't say what did and did not happen. Um, you know, that's with anything. If someone is saying um, they were raped, attacked, or whatever, if I'm not there, I can't for sure say it didn't happen. So I don't know what to think. There's um, a lot of stuff out there. So when I was looking at, I looked at a video in particular and, uh, or my, when I was looking up hosts, I saw this video just come up saying it was a host of, um, Jesse Smollett's attack. And I just wanted to take a look into it, see what it said. And I was, I was upset. I was upset, not because their views of the attack, but their attack or this person's attack on black people and you know it amazes me if someone has an issue with a black person it seems like they take on that issue of that black person and make it to be all black people and that's my problem it, it reminds me of criminal minds if you watch criminal minds or know of criminal minds the same the analysis is the same what it is is someone was mistreated, um, someone had something done to them at an earlier part in their life. And instead of addressing the issue head on with that person, they attack everyone that reminds them of that person. Um, in Criminal Minds, they call it a surrogate. So they find someone else that either looks like them or has the same role, like a mother or a father or a or all blondes or all brunettes or all women or all men, all black people or all whatever have you, they find someone that fits that same profile of the person who they really want to address, but they cannot or they are too afraid to. So in doing so, they just attack everyone. And that's how I feel about um, many people um, in this world. They don't attack the right, you know, the actual issue. They attack everything around it. And... In this, in this video, I want to show you, he, you know, goes into his things of why it's the attack is a hoax. But then he starts attacking black people in general. So Jesse Smollett is the face now of all black people, apparently, in this video. So I want you to take a look at this video. I'll give my commentary in, you know, after you look at the video. You want some real comedy and go look at black culture? <laughs> Go look at, uh, what is it? What's the website? What World Star. World Star Hip Hop. See, I can't even remember the name of it. World Star Hip Hop. Go look at that. And then, if you want some real comedy, go to, um. It's a bizarre black Go culture. to the number one, the number one Akata website. Shine and Akata website in America. You would think, would it be a news site? Would it be something educational? No. It's called Media Takeout. Go to, go to that one. Go to Media Takeout and look at the comments. Just go read the comments on that website. And just read, because that's where the comedy come in at. You get to see grammar. You get to see all the homophobic slurs that they use and everything else. And you get to see exactly, exactly what the shine culture is in America. I understand why Jesse Lee is it Jesse Lee, Peter, Peter, uh, Jesse Lee Peterson? Is that that's the yeah, Jesse, Jesse Lee, Lee Peterson. Peterson. I understand why he he is the way he is. He separated himself. He said, "I'm not a part of that culture." You know, like I said, evil. I did. He called I, him evil, evil, black. evil, evil black culture. Well, he, he says you know. they're evil because why? Because they have so much hate. Evil because they have so much hate and hostility in their um in in in, in them. You racism. know, and, and racism. And I understand why they. But I did a video w video the series way back. Go back into the archives, and I did one on Black Exit. And I told you all you all the real black people in this country need to. You got the exit. You got not no black exit. None of exit the black culture. Period. Right. Don't even be a part of that. Call yourself an American. Why do you have stop to drop? Dr dr stop just all. Be an just be an American. You were born in I'm this an country. American. You're an American. 
I mean, quit, quit with the. That what, with, with, so with, much put it, put it some. Just saw themselves as that. Yeah, like Germans do. If, if Germans are Germans. American. French are the French. Think about what that would the, do to racism. You know, yeah, if if you did that if you stop and stop, using stop your okay. labels. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you stop using your labels, stop sitting up here. Um, putting a hyphenated before you're American because that don't mean Thank nothing. You. All all the laws and the Constitution, all that goes to everybody. Okay? And then, you know, but it's just, we, we, this is where we're at. We are, we are race hoax after race hoax, lie after lie, and the video runs with it. I'm Axel, and I'm out. Okay, so you saw the video uh, of him attacking black people. And you're saying, well, I didn't, I didn't hear him say the N-word or do anything of this and that. Now, Apparently, he's black in this video. He is apparently um, gay. And he has someone in the back of the video. And they sound black as well. So he appears to be a Jesse Lee Peterson where he doesn't identify with being black. <laughs> News flash because when you get stopped and pulled over, they're not going to care that you are a Trump supporter uh gay or part of um, any other LBGTQ group or anything else or white on the inside, they're going to see that you're black on the outside. So this goes for Jesse Lee Peterson, you and everyone else who feels the same way and your partner, whoever that may be, because this is the problem that I have. Not only is he saying something about black people, he has black people that are listening to him and making comments. And I have I have one comment. Um, well, I'm going to read the com one of the comments I've seen. He has more than one videos in regards to the Jesse Smollett attack. And he's in, in all his videos, he refers to um, black people. He says them, they, as if he's not part of that group. But he, he appears to be black. But I want to say... He refers to black people as shines and akatas. So if, and it's such an insult because it's pretty much like saying the N word. Um, a shine, when he says shine, that's pretty much black people. It's a derogatory term for black people who used to shine white people's shoes back in the day. The shoe shiner guy. So they call, he calls them shines. And then he calls them akatas and, and that's a-k-a-t-a -A, i believe and that's uh originally a nigerian term it's still a uh derogatory term for black people it, it originally was supposed to be like a uh a, a wild cat or an undomesticated cat because you sometimes you see cats in the street where they're away from home they're almost like a stray cat well africa and that derogatory term was towards African Americans because we are in America instead of at our homeland supposedly so we are um, a cat that's away from home now the term has really been used to degrade black people as far as their culture and um, seeing that it, the term is supposed to represent ignorance wild horrible culture ideals morals and all those things um, now this is one of the comments from one of his from one of his videos, and then I'm gonna roll another video where he just has a rant about black people. And I'm not gonna say who wrote this, but it's it's highly upsetting. I mean, you let him call black people, not certain black people. Well, I still think it's derogatory, but shines and akatas, pretty much saying the n-word. So, brother, I am not a Trump supporter but I am thoroughly enjoying this video. I have great respect and admiration for my brother and sisters that go against the grain of what black folks are supposed to think or act. Again, I am not a Trump supporter, but I love my brother and my brothers and sisters. But as my boo, Amarosa, taught us, we are not a monolith. Now... You have great admiration for your brothers and sisters. But you allow this man to sit here and talk about you, your mom, your sister, brother, aunt, uncle, whoever that is part of your family that is black. He calls them shines and akatas. That's what you let. 
this man do and you think this is okay. I don't care what he thinks, how he feels, but how dare you disrespect an entire culture, an entire race of people based on, on a few individuals. And if you want to say more than a few, fine. It's several individuals, but it's not like black people are the only people that are doing crimes or doing things that are ignorant. And because that means if you can say all black people that you've run into, then obviously you have, you're not cultured enough because you can go around the world. There's many different people of, um, many did, you know, they have many different views, uh, values and everything. And apparently you're black. So the whole thing of all black people, you could try to etch yourself out of being black. You can say that, but at the end of the day, you're black. That's just like me saying, I'm not going to associate myself with women. All women are this and that. And then I say, I'm not a woman. At the end of the day, I'm a female and that's how it is. So the fact that you can sit here and disrespect a whole race of people based on some individuals that you dislike, it is atrocious. And this is the thing. You're saying that racism does not exist. It does exist. And it's people like this that talk in their house all the time that now they're giving a voice, now that we are under a new administration, to say, no, you don't have to be politically correct. You don't have to say all this crap. Say it in their faces. Well, thank you. Say it to my face because I want to know all the people who's been faking it I want to know how they really think because I don't want nothing to do with you if that's how you are how you are. Now, if you see my other video, you guys know how I feel about black people that are not, you know, doing what they're supposed to do. You know, they're going around doing criminal activities or not edifying the black community. So if you're not going to edify the black community, um, then no, you, you are a disgrace to the community. But I would never, ever talk about a whole community of people based on what some people do. Same thing with the white communities. There are people that are racist and whatever. There's Asians, there's so many. But I've come across a lot of great people who are white, who are Asian, who are um, of Hispanic ethnicity, um, a lot of Arabs. Uh, I come across everyone and I can never say that a whole group of people are a problem based on what several individuals have done because everyone is an individual. But it's amazing how other races, when someone does something, it's that individual. But when black people do something, that's black people as a whole. How dare you? And I'm just going to... Um, in my, you know, my rant, because apparently when black people are upset on something they should be upset about and not okay, we're sitting here watching an entire video and several videos where he disrespects black people. Um, apparently, I'm the angry black woman. Like, I have no reason to be upset when someone sits here. And this is just not one person. There's several people that do this. But I'm calling this person out because, one, they're black. Um... Two, you sit here and, and, well, I come across the video, but you sit here and you degrade people, uh, a whole group of people, which, I mean, either your mother or your father um, birthed you, and here you are pretty much disrespecting them. And I say mother or father because I don't, I don't know if he's either um, black or, you know, mixed or something, but you know, it's atrocious. So I just cannot, you know, believe that. But, you know, tell me your thoughts, comment below, um, and subscribe. And also, um, check out this video before you go. Right. I called you a nigger. You're a nigger. Nasty fucking nigger. Stop an African American. Go back to Africa. <laughs> Don't like niggas. President it's Trump. Ooh. Obama. Fuck you, motherfucking nigga. What's up, buddy? Oh, now I'm a buddy. Hey, Trump. Trump all the way. Trump. Hey, check this out. Hey, check it out. Hey, check No, I got you. Because black lives don't matter. There ain't no proof. Just because you say something don't mean nothing. Ma'am, I'm not a monkey, though. You are the daddy from one? Yeah. I'm not a monkey. You are the daddy from one? I come from God, ma'am. Black people.
All they do is take 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 it over everything. This was the trip to the Enchanted Rock State Park and the Gurma Ranch. I was on a rope swing, and then on that swing, I was just pulling the rope and then letting it go. When you pull the rope and let it go, then it's supposed to swing someone in a web seat. But this time I got tired, and so I just watched them pull the rope for about three or four times until one time the rope got all the way around my neck. When it got around my neck, no one helped me so I had to pull it off by myself. And then I went around and then stood up and I saw three boys. I asked them, guys, did you do that on purpose? And then they said, no, we didn't do, we wouldn't do anything like that on purpose really hurting and I just decided to reach for it to make sure it wasn't bleeding. Then I found a piece of rope coming out of something from my neck. They put Vaseline on my neck and they gave me Motrin. Mom looked at me and then she was looking at me and then she said, oh no, what happened? And then another parent said, that looks so horrible. And then one of, and then the principal said, Oh, she just got a little roper. She'll be fine. Bullying took a turn for the worse when a group of white teenagers apparently tried to hang an eight-year-old biracial boy from a tree using a noose. According to Cassandra Merlin, the boy's mother, her son was so severely injured he had to be flown to the Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center. She said in a Facebook post, my son is being flown to Dartmouth after a 14-year-old decided to hang him from a tree. I don't care if this was a so-called accident or not. My son almost died because of some little teenage kids. The boy's uncle also took to Facebook to express his concern, his post read, my nephew was hung from a tree by a 14-year-old who claims it was an accident. I don't care what kind of excuse this teenager has, but you do not play with someone's life. The boy's grandmother told the Valley News she thought that the August 28th incident was racially motivated and intentional, saying the teen taunted her grandson for being half black. According to the article, the teenagers were calling the boy racial epithets and throwing sticks and rocks at him. The situation then escalated when the teen stepped onto a picnic table and grabbed a nearby rope that had been a part of a tire swing, allegedly putting it around the boy's neck, and pushed him off of the picnic table. The eight-year-old did sustain cuts to his neck, but luckily he will be okay. Meanwhile, Claremont Police Chief Mark Chase told the newspaper his department is investigating an incident. He declined to provide details about the case because it involves juveniles. Chase did not respond to RT's request for comment. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT. We built these streets! No, they White man built these streets! Put your hands on me, I run this country, you guys are dead. Put your hands on me, No, I ain't gonna put my, I'm gonna kill your bitch ass. You gonna kill me? Come on. Putting you putting cameras on me? Come on. Oh yeah. Put cameras.